What's up everyone, it's your boy Norrad89 here bringing you another video for today's video continuing our vinyl record collection documentation. I actually went to Walmart, scooped up some stuff, so today I'm going to show that off today and we're going to talk about the band, the music that it is, and also show off, like I said, I kind of made a mistake in my other video. Always remember to actually take out the albums and show them off because there's some pretty cool stuff about the Cowboy Bebop one that I really didn't get to show off as well. So we're going to have a little bit of bonus footage as well. And I shot some stuff at Walmart while I was searching for albums and like movies and stuff like that. So a lot of fun stuff in this video. So let's get down to it. Roll it. <laughs> So this is what they had over there at Walmart. A lot of Walmart exclusives. I noticed that. They had some Daryl Hall and John Oates right there. Rock and Soul Part 1. That's a great one probably for sure. I was just looking for stuff that was more particular to like my taste. You know, very specific. You know, what I wanted to listen to or find something that was a rare item that I felt like it. Like that one right there. That Spider-Man one looked really cool with the exclusive like record coloring, which I thought was really awesome that they can design the vinyls and press them and change the colors and all the designs and very much like, you know, how they have specific box sets for DVDs and 4Ks and all that kind of stuff. And I wish sometimes they did more colored discs. This was one. The Smashing Pumpkins key one right there because it took me right back to being a kid. That's an easy one right there middle school high school era like smashing pumpkins was a key band in that era of time of me listening to it they had the there's queen right there greatest hits was another one the strangers things this was a tempting one too because the soundtrack full of 80s gold stuff just a lot of good you know bands like poison or duran duran or all that kind of stuff Here's their DVD movie section, you know, or Blu-ray section. Nothing really popped out in my eye, you know. Nothing fantastic really out, as you can see, like, that I was eager to get. They had some cool little pop heroes and stuff like that around, more of the figurines. There's my son popping in the video. <laughs> Here's the box sets for movie, or for uh, TV shows and stuff like that, to be honest, which I haven't even dived into that yet, really recollecting TV shows. If anything, I really want to start grabbing the Scrubs box set stuff again. So I hope you guys enjoyed that footage of going out in the wild. Like I said, that was Walmart, just a shopping day. I was getting some groceries, but also wanted to hit the album section, you know, record albums. Like I said, now that I'm getting into vinyl collecting, you know, you gotta, you gotta scratch that itch now. It's gonna be one of those things, you know, like I said, my wife knows me, so went there, scooped up an album, and also got this cool, box right here because now that i'm going to start collecting i was like i figured that i might just best off just right off the bat get something to store them in because I, I have three in here right now and it's going to take a while to build up to fill this up but it also comes with the little separation cards in the inside as well so you can do the a through b and c through d and all that kind of stuff so it has that section and all that kind of so i was really happy with that so simple pickup right there not that bad you know not too expensive you know now let's show off the album that I scooped up. As you saw in the video, there was two albums I was really looking at. One was the Stranger Things soundtrack music, which was a lot of good 80s music and stuff like that. But I ended up getting the Smashing Pumpkins greatest hits. And yeah, this is another band right here that just... Oh perfect perfect band that takes me back to a certain age and a certain time very nostalgic so as i said very nostalgic i could still remember going to the cd store and picking up you know the melancholy and infinite sadness and siamese dream which i believe and zeitgeist i believe are the only three that i ever owned on cd and this is the greatest hits which has some really good stuff on here let's talk about the songs actually that are on here first we have on side one we have the uh, siva Rhinoceros, Drown, Cherub Rock, Today, Today, or Today is on side two, then Disarm, Landslide, Bullet with Butterfly Wings, and 1979, which is one of my favorites, which I love the fact that Kevin Smith uses a lot of these songs in his movies, like Clerks 2, 1979, it just instantly makes me think of Clerks 2. <laughs> side three, we have Zero, Tonight, Tonight, I, Ava Adore, Perfect, and then on side four, we have The Everlasting Gaze, Stand Inside Your Love, Real Love, and Untitled. So those are the amazing tracks that are on here, and let's take a look at these records, too, because like I said, that was one mistake I did with the um, Cowboy Bebop video, is I didn't take out the albums and show off like the sleeves that actually hold them 
and the albums because they're actually like specifically like look at some of these shots i love the black and white too but they're colored like some of them are exclusively colored and i didn't know that that's one thing so like these ones they're candy apple red so I, th I thought that was really cool like both the records and stuff like that and i'll show you the cowboy bebop ones after this so i was very surprised and i've already jammed these records and stuff by the way the the player sounds fantastic that's what i was doing the other day when i was cooking dinner and stuff on my day off i was jamming some smashing pumpkins and cooking dinner so it's been a joy already listening to it I, but I, like i said i already have that itch where i want to like i got this box and I'm like, oh, I want to fill it up. I want to buy so much more, but I have to, I have to control myself. I really do. <laughs> There's another great shot right there. And another good one there too on the back. So a lot of good, fabulous shots and artwork in here and pictures and stuff like that. And again, with the candy apple red, like, I love that record. It's so beautiful. So, oh man, like this band is another one kind of like um, Linkin Park. Deftones, Slipknot, like a, very much that middle school era because when I was listening to music, this is a great way to talk about my music journey too, is my mom, she introduced me to R&B and hip hop first. So when I was in elementary school and like before I was in middle school, like everything I listened to was like Wu-Tang Clan, Jay-Z, you know, uh, freaking Lauryn Hill, Usher, like that was all the kind of stuff that I was listening to Prince, you know, Michael Jackson, because that's what my mom was into and stuff like that. So I didn't really discover rock music and really get into rock bands until I got into middle school. And a lot of those first bands were, like I said, Deftones, Slipknot, Smashing Pumpkins, Nine Inch Nails. Those were some of the first bands that I really started diving into when I hit middle school. Now, like I said, let's return to the Cowboy Bebop one because I didn't get a chance to show off. I showed off, like, you know, the back and the front and all that stuff, but I didn't get to show off the actual albums because these ones have some amazing colors and all that stuff, too. So look at this right here. There's some good, fantastic artwork get a chance to appreciate that and Faye Valentine like oh my god like for real she's unrealistically probably the most gorgeous anime babe we've ever seen and yes these ones are purple I love this and it has each one the side A and then side B has like the faces like Spike is on side A Faye Valentine's on side B and then I think side C is Jet and then Ed is side uh, C I believe so yeah oh it's amazing right here like I said this is Straight up, to describe the music that's on here, jazz. A lot of saxophone, harmonicas, trumpets, a lot of that stuff. So if you haven't watched Cowboy Bebop and you don't know the music of Cowboy Bebop, it's very jazz-influenced with a lot of, you know, just crazy, crazy harmonica and saxophones, even piano and keyboard, too, as well. And like I said, again, this one with the purple album right there as well. So gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Like... It's already, I can tell, getting very addicting. <laughs> like, I'm a collector in general, so like once I start and get my hands on a physical media or an item or collecting, I like said, it just, it's it scratches a certain itch and you want to do more. But yeah, this is a fantastic start. Like I said, it's great to have this box. I have the Cowboy Bebop album in here. I also have the Exorcist soundtrack as well. So these are my three albums that I have so far in this awesome container. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the awesome on the site, you know, in the wild footage that we shot at Walmart. Please like the video. That definitely helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Have that notification bell poke so you're notified anytime. I drop a video, a rad movie review, a ranking, or any kind of vinyl collection stuff. Like I said, we, we drop a lot of crazy stuff here on Norn Rad's channel. We've got a plethora of stuff that I talk about, even wrestling content as well. So just come here, share the love and all that stuff, and I appreciate it if you share the videos too. If you like these videos, share the videos. That also helps us content creators out. But most importantly, you all know what's up. Have a safe and happy day. Peace out.